The fine folks over at Two Notes Audio have just as of yesterday released their brand new Dyn IR package called the Engel Sinister 5 Collection. They were kind enough to send this over for me to check out and I wanted to give you guys kind of a first run through, first impression of what I thought of it. I haven't listened to it yet. I haven't used it. I've just organized my torpedo remote so that they're available there and I wanted to see what exactly we have. So without further ado, let's dive over, take a look first at what the product is all about. Then we're going to dive into just some raw sounds, take a look at what it's capable of and some of the possibilities. Obviously not going to be able to cover all the possibilities of what this quite large package is capable of, but hopefully I'll at least give you an idea of what some of the tones are like. I'm going to be recording this and you see my hand go over here through my trusty old Rev Generator 100R, which has the built-in torpedo remote. So I'm going to be taking the tones off of this. Basically, I'm I'm looking over at it here. I'm on channel three on the lowest aggression setting. And I basically have everything kind of straight up the middle. I have my gain and master at 12 o'clock, treble, middle, and bass at 12 o'clock, presence and depth at 12 o'clock. So everything's just up the middle gives me a, a nice balance note to start with. And then we're going to tweak around with the Engel Sinister 5 collection, different mics and cabs to see what it sounds like and kind of compare one to another. So without further ado, let's dive over and see what this is all about. So first things first, let's go over to the Two Notes website. And it says here, introducing the all new Engel Sinister 5 collection. I was pretty excited when I saw this drop into my inbox yesterday. And it says here, the big question, what would happen if you combine the meticulous precision akin to an iconic German amplifier brand with the complex overtones, punchy low end, cut fueled mid-range and searing highs from Poland's finest entered the Engel Sinister 5 collection. So what this is, is basically a selection of cabinets of 112, 212 and 412 captures in an Engel cabinet, but retrofitted with Hesu Demon drivers. So it says this series is out and out continental exactitude from Europe's tonal elite. All right, we can listen to them describe it all day long, but let's actually take a look and see what we have inside of this package. So if we go to the product page, we can actually see down here, we have an angle 112, an angle 212, which seems to be a vertical cabinet. Then we have the horizontal cabinet version, the 212 again, and we have two different 412 one the E412 VSB and one the E412 XXL. So we've got a lot of possibilities here as well as a nice selection of microphones as we will see in the Torpedo software in just a second. Let's dive over to that. All right, so here we are in my Torpedo remote software. As you can see up here, I'm hooked into my Rev Generator 100R. Uh, if you notice here, if I pull down uh, my cab choices, I have the angle E112 VB Sin, and that's going to be one from this package. Sin standing for the Sinister. And if I continue through this, I can go and see that I have the two 212 versions, the horizontal and the vertical. And then I've also got two 412 versions. You'll notice the ones that say Sin after them are part of this package. We'll take a listen to all of these. So we'll start here with the 112 version. You might say, well, what microphone choices do we have? And if we pull this down, you'll see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight microphone choices. Everything from a condenser 184, the Ribbon Fat 2 is the Cascade Fathead 2 microphone, a microphone I actually have in my collection and I love it. Probably my favorite microphone for recording guitar cabinets. Uh, we have another selection of a Shure SM57, Royer 121, Sennheiser 421. And if we pop back to the product page, we can actually see the other mics in here too. We have an Audix i5. We have a Bear Dynamic M201TG and a Heil Sound PR30. And as I mentioned before, the condenser 184 is a Neumann KM184. So how do these all sound? Well, let's do this. You'll notice I have mic B muted and I have everything just on axis and distance at zero. Nothing else other than a dab of ambient Studio A reverb just so that it's not so direct sounding. And let's go through the mics. Here we have the 421 on axis right up on the grill. And here's the tone of the Rev Generator amp with all those settings just basically at noon. It's 
go through the mics onto the Ribbon 121. One of my favorite mics, anybody who watches any of my tone videos for any other modelers like Helix or Amplitude knows that I'm a huge fan of Ribbon mics and I really love the Royer mic. And as I mentioned already, the Cascade Fathead 2 is a real favorite of mine. <laughs> On to our standard SM57. Probably my least favorite mic in real life too. Uh, but I mean, it obviously there's been a lot of great tones made with that microphone. Really nice to blend with a ribbon mic. Moving on. On to my favorite, the Cascade Fat Head 2. Beautiful stuff. Uh, obviously, it sounds a little tubby and muddy, but you know, if we just moved that maybe a little bit, slightly off axis and back a little bit. And combine that with a dynamic mic or a condenser mic, we can get some pretty cool things going on, which we'll do in just a couple moments. And onto the condenser 184, which is the Neumann mic. Probably won't go through all of the mics as we go through each cabinet, but just give you an idea of what we have for the 112. And it'll be very similar for the other cabs as well. But let's get a nice blend going here. I'm going to go with something like the, the Ribbon Fat 2, and then we'll unmute our second mic and maybe go with something like the 421 and see how those two blend together. <laughs> Very nice. I'm going to pull the fat head back just a little bit. Let me go slightly off axis with it. Really nice stuff. Let's throw the twin tracker on there and see what that does. Very nice. We'll take that off for now. Okay, so that's the 112. I like that balance of the two mics. Uh, let's move on to another one of these cabs. So let's move to the 212 and we'll go into the vertical cab and we'll go with the same balance on the mics just to hear the difference between the 112 and 212. <laughs> Going back and forth between the 112 and that. A little bit 
darker on the 212. Now we do have the other 212 as well. Let's take a listen to the horizontal version. <laughs> Moving on over to the 412. You'll notice the cabs have a very unique sound to each of them, which is really amazing. And obviously you may have to tweak the mic settings I have. You know, something like on the 412, which I'll show you in a second, maybe I would go a little less on the ribbon mic and a little more on the dynamic mic since it does sound a little bit darker inherently. Let's check out that last 412 cab. <laughs> And we can go back and compare that to something like the original 112 we had. So again, you know, a little bit brighter there, the 212. So as I was mentioning, you know, with this, I could take that ribbon mic, pull it down, bump the 421 dynamic mic up a bit. If you need something to cut a little bit more, maybe that's a little much, a little more weight on that. And obviously there's a bunch of other combinations we could work on here as well. Endless possibilities. And again, you know, we could always throw that twin tracker on.
All right, what did you guys think? That's just a quick look at some of the possibilities. Obviously, I could sit here and do a five hour long video trying out all the combinations, all the movements of the microphones, miking the front, miking the back, using the twin tracker, adding different reverbs and enhancers and EQs. It's all in there with the Torpedo Remote as I have it set up here with the Rev Generator 100R, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of a quick look at the basic sounds you're dealing with. Remember, again, I just basically had channel three on the Rev Generator 100R with everything kind of at 12 o'clock. Obviously, I could come in and tweak my amp however I wanted, but hopefully that gives you guys a quick idea as to what the possibilities are with this new Angle Sinister 5 collection from the fine folks at Two Notes. I'd like to thank them for sending it over for me to check out. Very much appreciated, and I'm always happy to share this with you. I will have the link below if you guys do want to grab a copy of it for yourself for your two notes hardware or software or if you have a rev generator or something like that product that's compatible with the torpedo remote i think this would be a very nice addition to adding some new tones to your collection thanks so much for tuning in guys please like the video share it with anybody who you think would get some use out of watching it also please subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification to get notified when i put new content out i'll be back really soon with some more thank you guys again so much for tuning in ciao for now